We're going to find out what's happening in game number two. It's getting underway right now. Super JJ is looking to tie this one up, but Cranich looking to take a quick 2-0 lead in this series. And quick is the name of the game here, too. That's that's what the deck does. It punishes every bad draw possible. Super JJ re up, you know, the Warlock Zoo deck here, it looks like. I like this build against Cranich just because I feel like Druid's a big talking point for him, and where's Zoo's bad matchup, really? It's against stuff like Freeze Mage. Yeah, it's, oh. it's pretty rough in Freeze Mage because you don't have a ton of burst. If they can stay high enough, you can't ever really get them. But other than that, you're pretty fine off in uh, most of the matches. Whoa, that is a Kodo. That's a stampeding Kodo in Cranage's hand. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we've, we've seen this from him a few times this season. He likes to play these, these cards that people do not expect and can have major impacts on the board. Uh, but something else that's, that's kind of crazy to look at is that you never expect it coming because it looks like his build is so standard leading up to that point. Yeah, and then some card comes out and, you know, my favorite thing to do is watch the reaction of the opposing player when he plays the card like that. Yeah. I mean, like, like when, when you get kodo you remember it. It's not a good feeling. Hashtag get craniched. So Cranich, not really a super favorable attack here. Does get to take out a Haunted Creeper uh, with what I believe is a Freezing Trap. Yeah, that's what I if it's a Freezing Trap, then you get to buy some tempo back here and that's all you want and need because you have to get out ahead of this deck. And Haunted Creeper is just such an annoying minion. It's like one of the last things you want to deal with. Yeah, you need to get out ahead of the zoo deck because they can kind of steamroll downhill as the game goes on. Your only real card that can get you back into it a lot of times is Unleash the Hounds because they can, you know, they can match you in power as the deck goes on. Now, these guys are firing so quickly too. Yeah. Eagle Horn Bow is going to give Kranich a lead in this one and Super JJ's turn four. That makes it look a little bit better, but I don't feel like he wants to be floating mana in this situation. Yeah, now Cranich actually does already have a copy of one of the most important cards in the matchup in Defender of Argus, but he has to find time and a stable board to play it. Yep. Unleash the Hounds is an okay draw, but not right now. Second Freezing Trap is gonna offset this Haunted Creeper, but I don't know if Super JJ is gonna attack into it just yet. Well, yeah, it's gonna be the, the dance of, uh, do I wanna give you another charge on your bow here? Yeah, I could like I could very easily see just MK Boss and pass here, and then look to the Defender of Argus next turn. He might actually get aggressive with this here. All right. I don't mind the Iron Bee Cowl. So now Kranich. Do we see the Kodo? Um, it, it, the question to me is if you see the Kodo, do you actually trade off the Haunted Creeper first? Okay, just to make sure it kills the other Haunted Creeper? Well, I mean, it can also hit the Imp Gang boss here. This is a 50 50. This is a really big one, too. Kranich has got a little smirk oh, on his face. It's a good one. Wow, and what a land. Super JJ has been getting the bad side of the luck this time. Yeah, it, it's pretty much the last about eight weeks of his season in a nutshell right there. Look, I mean, what what can you do? That's yeah. just brutal, man. I mean, just look at him. He's, he's, he's saying the same thing in his mind right now. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? You know, like, this just keeps happening. Well, you're supposed to just keep playing and go through with it, but that's, I feel for him on this one. That oh, is, yeah, for sure. That's bad news. And Cranch has got more bad news for him. He's going to follow this up, and it is not light. Uh, you saying Savannah Highman is a good card? It's it's pretty darn good if you it's, have the lead. It's not bad. Cranich not even going to attack with anything here, too, looking for as much extra value on that bow as he can. Well, not just that. He has an Unleash the Hounds in his hand, so he makes sure that the turn he attacks the Haunted Creeper, he gets as much value out of the Unleash the Hounds as possible. Yeah, Super JJ going to try to turn this uh, Freezing Trap into a liability, but that's going to take some time to get to that point. Yeah, you know, he gets to rebuy his Defender of Argus here, and he's going to get to do it this turn. What he's trying to do is here, he's just trying to keep himself from getting at too low of a life totally try to stay in this game as much as possible yeah i like the attack from him as well uh, oh make sure to trim the right spots oh my gosh this is this is this is a big turn here <laughs> this is this is disaster for super jj uh, uh this is gonna be a lot of knives oh oh my yeah because oh, no. he gets two extra ones here now i mean he gets oh, a little, yeah no because there's two knife delgers you get two extra and you can see super jj's uh that's oh this is gross this is, this is a lot of knives. This is eight knives. Uh, I think even these knife jugglers can't possibly miss. <laughs> these knife jugglers, they're pushing up long and they're firing off the tech nines and they're <laughs> landing every single <laughs> shot. My gosh. 360 no look, no scope. <laughs> this, is, this is not a winnable game. I'm sorry, Super JJ, but Kodo, that Kodo stomp just absolutely blew this game out of the water. Yeah, and you can see it. I mean, just look at Super JJ. This is, I feel the same way watching this happen. I, you know, I just... This, this has, his mindset is in the right place right now. Like, you should be looking at this game and feeling how ridiculous it is. This is, this happens sometimes. It's pretty darn rare, but this is not a reflection of, of who won this game. This was Granage. Granage's draw was amazing, but that's the benefit of playing very good decks is that you'll get amazing draws. And the Kodo is just the cherry on top, man. What a game. Yeah, every now and then you just get draws where it's pretty impossible for you to lose. I mean, everything lined up very well. I mean, not only was Granage's draw good, but it lined up very well against what Super JJ's draw was.